All right, hi, this is Brad from High Style Motoring in Southern California in the city of Whittier. This is the SSR SR125. Uh, this one happens to be the manual version. We're going to show you real quick uh, the steps we take to put these together, and we assemble them here uh, a bunch of the times. Now, we just took the rack off here, the crate. So the crate's been off of there. Uh, we actually put the handlebars on here already. And the way we did that was, you'll see here in the owner's manual with your MSO, there's four nuts there and a zip tie that comes standard in here. Okay, now those four nuts that come in there replace, yeah, those, those nuts there. They're actually, they put some nice lock, lock nuts there. Um, and we, we still throw a bunch of Loctite on those things. So just so you know, we buy in the, in the big tubes of Permatex Loctite. So red. that goes, uh, we use the red here, not the blue. So those four nuts that come in your manual go in there. Okay, so now when we decrate this thing, we actually want it to stand upright so we can check the oil properly, the perfect oil level. So. Do yourself a favor and don't remove the tie downs here on the rear wheel. That allow you to keep the bike upright, give you a little, a little less uh, labor intensive activity here. So now we're gonna go and put this front wheel on. Okay, I'm gonna show you real quick here though. A lot of times these spacers, two spacers there, Leave the middle finger out of it there, Davey. Okay, so the two spacers there sometimes come reversed uh, as they are on this bike. You can see the long spacers on the right side, the short spacers on the left side if you're sitting on the bike. Okay, so if I'm sitting on this bike here, we got the long on the right, we got the short on the left. Now, the way you just remember that is long left. Long left, short right, so long left. We want to have that longer spacer on the left hand side. Goes The longer spacer goes in the side of the... Uh, this brake. Where the brake is, where that brake rotor is. Okay, just remember that, crucial. Okay, here's two other crucial elements in the in the field. Now we have a... Um, we have a little keeper there on the front brake. You have to remove that, ditch it, get rid of it. That thing's got to go. You'll never be able to get that front rotor through the caliper if you have that keeper on there. And here's the second keeper. The second and last keeper look just like that. Just remove that from the caliper. That's got to go. Okay, so you got to keep. Don't depress the brake handle. Don't, do not depress the brake handle at this time. You don't want to pump up that caliper right away. We want to be able to separate those uh, brake pads out of the caliper. Okay, go ahead, Davey. <clears throat> Take that nut off. Put ourselves some Loctite on there. <laughs> Can't use enough Loctite, so just remember these are off-road machines. You, you, they're going to be subject to a lot of vibrations and what have you, so we want to have these things um, Loctited down, so to speak. Okay, now we're going to take that axle bolt that holds the spacer, holds it to the frame. We're going to put a jack stand under here. Okay, so basically one it's a one person operation once that jack stands in place. We just put it right underneath that skid plate there, so it's not rocket scientists. Okay. Not rocket science, so Okay, this is how David likes to do it. So go ahead. You put the bolt first. Correct. And it's the part with the head on it. Right. It goes that way. Now okay. to set the wheel in there and put the spacer. Now I push the wheel against the spacer. To Correct. To hold it. Hold it in place. in place. Otherwise you need somebody else to help hold it there. If you do it right, you can do it by yourself. Easy. Okay, we got the... Long left, spacer long left, boom, done.
Loctite. Put it right again, through there. Nice, Loctite. nice again, Loctite again, again. nut. Okay, super sweet, super simple. Once Davey's done locking this puppy down with his patented zap tool here. Okay, so that's how you put that front wheel on. That front wheel and tire. Once it's on, take that puppy off. You can see it's still standing upright because we have the rear tie downs. Both sides of that rear tire. And once you're done, folks, that's what you'll be looking at. That's the white version, the green version. They come in blue white, red, green, black and orange. And these are just sweet machines. So, you know, go to pitbikesgonewild.com, highstylemotoring.com. Check those out. <clears throat> We've got a lot of the SSR products here, the Laser 5, which is the moped. We got pit bikes, little trikes. Scooters. For all us people here suffering from the Southern California heat right now, just a sweet air conditioned showroom. I wouldn't be in the freeway. I wouldn't be in the freeway. Last but not least, here's the 150TX SR 150TX from SSR. We'll be doing a video on that later. Any questions? Give a call, 562-945-8361. Hope to see you here. Thanks, guys.